Hey guys, I'm Paige Sporanek. Thanks for coming in today. If you haven't been to an X-Golf before, I could run you through some of the features and show you some of the key differences between our technology and any other golf simulators on the market. We have infrared lasers and a high-speed camera that picks up ball spin, speed, launch, direction, and club speed, path, and impact, measuring thousands of calculations in under a second to make this the most accurate simulator on the market. To tee up your ball, press either one of these yellow buttons. If you want to higher or lower your tee height, these green arrows will do it for you. Once you get going on an actual course, it will remember your tee height setting so you won't have to keep changing it. Up top here on the right gives you an overview of the hole. This line here shows you if you hit your ball at about 100 yards, the dot is where it will land. If you want to avoid a bunker or a tree or something like that, the left and right buttons on the panel will change your camera angle and change where that line is going up to the top to give you a better idea of where you're aiming. If you aren't teeing off, knock the ball back on the iron mat in between the white dots. It's the most accurate there. In the middle, you'll notice this box that gives you more information about your gameplay. On the fairway, your speed and spin will always be at 100%. When you land in the rough, it will say 90%. That means it's taking 10% off of your shot. So if you hit the ball at 100 yards from the rough, the ball will only go about 90 yards. When you land in the bunker, the speed and spin will say 50%. That means it's taking off 50% of your shot, so you want to hit about twice as hard. For putting, right-handers put your ball on the left dimple, and left-handers put your ball on the right dimple. Similar to a video game, the white dots on the screen show your brick. The faster the beads move, the steeper the hill. At the top right, it says your distance from the pin. From where the ball and the dimple is to the screen, it's about 16 feet. So you have to hit your ball just hard enough to kiss the screen, and you should be able to get it in. If you have an 8-foot putt, you want to hit about halfway up this platform, and a 30-foot putt, you want to hit about twice this distance. Last thing I want to mention, X-Golf is a PGA certified teaching facility. It has a great pro on staff in case you might be interested in lessons, clinics, or club fitting. Now grab an appetizer, get some beer, and let's get started. Have fun everyone!